Hi everybody. We're going to start today's yoga practice on our backs. The way that we would typically end our practice is the way that we'll begin. Allow those toes to fall out and those heels to come in. Just allow those arms to rest wherever you choose. Just start to relax. I myself needed my yoga mat this particular day. I was having a little bit of a rough day. See that I get a little bit of emotional. It took me a little bit longer to start to tap into my breath to let go of any external distractions. So take a moment here and just start to take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill up your lungs. Feel the rib cage expand and that belly rise as the back of heart presses down towards your space. And then let it all go. Again, full rich inhale, fill it up. Audible exhale, let it go. And then when you're ready, start to tap into your ujjayi breath, that victorious breath in and out through the nose. Allow that breath to get a little deeper, a little longer. Allow this breath to anchor you into the present moment. You'll notice that as I start to deepen my breath, I start to calm down a little bit. That stress, that anxiety that I brought to my mat, just starts to melt away. Take as long as you need here. Feel the belly button pull in towards the spine. Feel that low back press down towards the ear. The ribs start to connect to the hips. So you start to engage through the core. When you feel ready, take a nice big inhale and reach the fingers all the way back as you reach the toes towards the front of your space. And then just allow everything to settle in as you exhale. Taking that again, take a big reach in, stretch, tug of war within the body. And then as you exhale, pull the knees in towards the chest and give yourself a little rock side to side. Feeling the entire length of the spine press down towards the earth. And when you're ready, drop the knees down so you find happy baby. Allow them to come to the outer edges of the torso as those heels kick up to the sky. And slightly tucking the chin so you still feel that entire length of the spine resting towards the earth. Push the hips down. If you'd like to straighten the legs, you can do so. If you'd like to give yourself a little rock side to side, you can. And then we'll pull the knees back into the chest. Flex through the feet. You're going to extend one leg nice and long towards the front edge of your mat as you pull the opposite knee in towards the outer edge of the torso. Take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, twist that knee up and over. Try to melt that opposite shoulder down into your mat, and maybe the gaze goes up and over that shoulder. Every inhale, you find length, and every exhale, you twist your body a little deeper. Pull the knees back in. Give yourself a little rock again. Realign. And then we'll swap it out. My right leg goes forward, grounding through that heel. Left knee pulls in. Big breath in. And then exhale and twist. Again, if the neck allows, you can take that gaze up and over those left fingertips. Find your breath. Pulling your knees back into center when you are ready. And give yourself that rock. Realign. Again. And then start to rock back and forth the length of your spine. Take as much time as you need. Roll all the way up to the shoulders, up to the sits bones. And then when you're ready, rock up and over those ankles into a tabletop. And then take whatever time you need to just roll through the body. Whatever organic movement your body needs. If you don't know, just close your eyes and start to move. Your body will tell you. Maybe a few rolls of the wrist, a little forearm stretch. And then we'll meet in a neutral spine in a tabletop position for some cat cows. Shoulders over palms, hips over knees, and then inhale, belly goes down, chest goes proud. Exhale, round through the spine, pelvis to ribcage. Again, inhale, drop it down, open up, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round it through, hollow. And then we inhale in our cat, and then exhale for a cow. Again, inhale, pull that belly in, round it through. Exhale, release. 
meeting me in your neutral spine. So pull that belly in, tuck the toes, and just hover the knees about an inch or two off the earth. We're going to find knee taps. Tap it down and lift. Tap it down and lift. Try not to dump down into the wrist, finding your space between those shoulders, and then kick it back, high plank, holding here for just a few breaths. The crown of the head is pulling forward, the heels are pulling back, and then exhale, down dog. Walk it out. Shoulders push away from the palms, eyes of the elbows rotate forward. And inhale, high on the ball mounds of the feet. Exhale, hovering tabletop. Inhale, tail high. Exhale, dog. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, hover. Send that tailbone high. And then release those heels. Walk your feet up towards the top of your mat and then find yourself in a ragdoll pose. Now you can allow those hands just to dangle down. You can grab for opposite elbows or maybe even interlacing the hands behind the back. Whatever you need to find this decompression within the low back, allow that head to just dangle down. And then heel toe the feet to touch. And with a soft bend in the knees, stack your vertebra on top of one another. Give yourself a nice big shoulder roll at the top. Rotate your palms forward. Take this moment to set an intention for your practice. And then take a deep breath in. Let it go. We inhale, lift, mountain pose. Palms come to touch at the top. And then exhale, fold it forward, hinging at your hips, leading with your heart. Halfway lift, crown of the head goes forward, tail goes back, and then fold it forward. Again, inhale, lift up to the top with a flat back, palms touch, little back bend, and then surrender it down, hinge, lengthen. Find that halfway lift at the bottom, and then just release. You can find a bend through those knees. We take that one more time, inhale, lift all the way up, even more lift in that low back, and then surrender it down. Half lift. Forward fold. We're adding on here. Inhale, lift, reach. Exhale, hinge and fold. Hand comes through your third eye down. Halfway lift. Step the left leg back. We meet in a low lunge. Left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back. We inhale, lift, crescent lunge, shoulders over hips. And then step it forward, forward fold as you exhale. Lift. And then release. Other side. Lift it up. Mountain pose. Exhale, fold and hinge. Keep under halfway lift, and as you exhale, right leg steps back behind you. Push the right hip forward. We lift, crescent lunge. And then exhale, fold it forward. Halfway lift. And then surrender it down. All the way up to the top. Palms touching. Hinge. <clears throat> lift. Left leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, fold and release. Half lift. And then step it back to a high plank, adding on again. Shift to the tippy toes, take it down low plank, elbows hugging towards the midline, and then release, upward facing dog. When you're ready, exhale, down dog. Let's take it on the opposite side. Go forward, halfway lift. And then release it down. Lift all the way up to the top. Palms touch. And then surrender. Belly scoops in, tailbone reaches back, and then set that right leg long back behind you. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, fold, and step together. Find length. And then step it back. High to low. You can skip any push-up within this practice. You can take them on your knees. Your choice. Tail downward facing dog. We'll take the gaze up. Step, hop, or float to the top of your space. Halfway lift, and then forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana chair pose. Send the weight into the heels. Make sure that you can see your ten toes, and then airplane your wings. Option to lift your heels. Inhale, drop the heels. Biceps by the ears. Exhale, lift it. Again, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, lift mountain pose. I chose to lift my heels up and then hold that heel lift as I forward fold. Releasing those heels at the bottom. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Shift to those tippy toes. Take it down. Upward facing dog. And then tail high, down dog. Lifting the right leg high to the sky, squaring off your shoulders and your hips, and then exhale, knee to nose. Two more times. Lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Hug it in. 
One more time. As you exhale, shift the weight or shoulders over the palms. We step it through, low lunge twist. So your left arm is down, your right arm is up. Right shoulder stacks over that left. So to roll onto the outer edges of the feet, we meet in a side plank. Option to drop down to the knee, stagger, stack the feet or even lift that top leg. Now hug that knee in towards the chest and then rotate to a side angle. So that back foot spins to your 45 degree shape. Lift and then circle the arm around. We meet in double utita. Both your biceps are by the ears. Shoulders sink down. Inhale, lift, star. Fingers reach up. Exhale, horse. Hold here for just a moment. Maybe shift and then find your stillness. Inhale, lift, star. Fingers reach up a little taller. And then warrior two to the back of the room. Find that nice big bend. Hold it and then reverse. As much space between the shoulder and ear as you can. We cartwheel it down. Hide a low. This time I chose to find Ekapada. Totally optional. Again, you can skip any Chaturanga that you choose. And then we lift the right leg high again. We step it through. Low lunge, 90 degree shape. Pushing the left hip forward, we inhale, lift, crescent lunge. Sit deeper, and then as you exhale, airplane your wings. Lift the thumbs high off the hips, press those palms towards one another as the crown head reaches forward. Shift the weight towards the right leg, warrior three. Ooh, find your balance. Hips are square. Now with as much control as you can, open it up, warrior two. Again, still facing the back of the room, opposite leg is in front. Reverse that warrior one more time, stretch and reach. Cartwheel it down, high to low. We'll take that same series, a little bit slower, on the left side before we find our breath to movement. Our left leg lifts, and then knee to nose. Shoulders come over palms, hug that knee in. Two more times. Pull it in, tight, lift it up. Now this last round is your tightest one yet. Pull it in, find that space. We step it through, low lunge twist. This time left arm is up. And then when you're ready, roll onto the outer edges of the feet. Find whatever variation of side plank you took on the opposite side. Find your balance within the body. Lift those hips a little higher. Pull that knee in, 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 and then rotate side angle. Find that lift within that right arm, and then circle it up and around. Double utita. This is totally optional. As you inhale, reach those fingers up to the sky, and then drop it down for a horse. Again, if you want to wiggle through a minute, you can. Inhale, lift. As you exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Reversing that warrior, stretch that side of the body and then cartwheel it down high to low. You might have heard that little voice in the back. That was my daughter saying that she needed a kiss. So I had to pause the recording and give her a kiss. All right, left leg lifts back up. Pull it in and then step it through low lunge. You inhale, lift, crescent lunge, shoulders over hips. Airplane your wings, squeeze those palms. Shifting towards that front leg, warrior three. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then open it up with control, warrior two. Quietly releasing. Reverse that warrior. And then cartwheel it down, high to low. All right, we'll find our breath to movement here. Gaze goes forward. Oh, I wonder what music I'm listening to this time. Step up or float to the top. Half lift. And then fold it forward. Inhale. Utkatasana. Even lower this time. And then airplane those wings. Lift the heels if you choose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more exhale. Now keep the heels lifted this time. Squeeze the inner thighs. Lengthen all the way up. Mountain pose. Woo! Forward fold. Good save. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. High to low. Just one knee to nose this time. Lift the right leg high. Knee to nose. Lift it up. Low lunge twist. Right arm up. Roll onto the outer edges of those feet. Find that side plank. Lift those hips a little higher. Then pull that knee in, in, in. Open it up. Side angle. Lift. Circle it around, double utita, squeeze those biceps by the ears, up, inhale, exhale, horse, drop it down. Inhale, all the way up, warrior two to the back, stay low, reverse as you inhale. Cartwheel it down, high to low, take it down. 
and then send it high, down dog. Lifting the right leg back up to the sky. And then again, as you exhale, step it through low lunge. Inhale, lift to find crescent. And exhale, airplane your wings. Warrior three. Guess who needed a hug this time? With control, open it up. Warrior two. Hold that bend, reverse. Sit a little deeper. And then cartwheel it down. High, two, low. Ready to take this on the left side. You know where we're going. Deep in the breath. Left leg lifts. One knee to nose. Lift it up. And then step it through. Low lunge. Twist. Roll it out. Side plank. Lift a little higher. Pull that knee in with as much control. Open it up. Side angle. Six and twelve. And then lift. Circle it up and around. Double utita. Inhale star. Exhale. Drop it down for a horse. Lift it high. Two to the front. Hold it in reverse. Cartwheel it down. High to low. Lift the left leg high. Step it through. Low lunge. Let's finish it here. Inhale. Lift. Crescent lunge. Exhale. Keep the lower body as is. Airplane. Hinge, warrior three. Lift those hands a little higher. Open it up. Final two of your practice. Reverse that warrior. Cartwheel it down. High to low. Last chaturanga as well. Enjoy this last downward facing dog. Heels go a little deeper. When you make it to the top of your space, just take a seat. We're going to finish the practice the same way that we started. Slowly make your way all the way down so you're supine flat on your mat. And then hug the knees in towards the chest. And you can give yourself that rock. Maybe feel the difference that it feels from the very first time you gave the knees a little hug at the beginning of our practice. Drop those knees down, kick those heels up. Happy baby again. Give yourself a rock, maybe straighten a leg or two. And then pull those knees back in, flex through the feet, sending one leg nice and long as you pull that opposite knee in for that twist. Inhale. Twist and exhale. Pull those knees back in, realign. And then opposite leg extends nice and long, pressing through those heels. And then when you're ready to exhale, find that twist. Left shoulder sinks down. Hugging those knees back into your chest to give yourself one final hug, flexing every muscle in your body. Yogis, I needed my mat this particular morning. It's amazing what yoga can do for the mind and the body. Enjoy two minutes here, finding complete stillness if you can. Feel the shoulders and the hips melt off into your space. Soften through the eyes. And enjoy this final Shavasana.